Well, um, it's, uh, it's funny. It's, we had uh, a lot that we were supposed to sell. It was already pre-purchased. Uh, well, just a verbal agreement, and uh, the whole time that we had this agreement, we weren't feeling at peace about it. And uh, the gentleman that was uh, supposed to buy the slot, even I think Libs along the way didn't feel at peace about it. But as we were getting closer and closer with the town of Huntsville, we felt we were more and more less at peace about what um, was happening. We were pretty sunk in to it already. Like, yeah, you know, we were. We had all kinds of planners and everything was happening and the guy had already started to do a driveway, the driveway even though i really didn't want him working on that yet but you know he just we just thought it was going to go through and so on kept going ahead with it anyway and then more and more uh, as we were moving more and more closer to finalizing uh the lot severance we we felt we didn't feel the peace so the lord actually in my quiet time in the morning said uh you're not to sell the lot. I think I went upstairs and I said, Libs, the Lord has told us uh, that we're not to sell this lot. But he did tell me, we need to pray. You, Henry, you need to pray for three days. I felt this peace, this overwhelming peace. Mm -hmm. And Libs and I um, several times um, joined together in prayer. And together, we, um, one morning we fell to our knees in the kitchen and mm -hmm. we felt uh, that we needed to pray. And when we prayed, we knew it was, that was the answer. This meant $20,000, actually. That was probably the big deal, is that we would owe this man $20,000 for, for all, putting the, in the all the driveway then, and the clearing the lot. And everything that he had already spent um, was a big deal. And of course, we didn't have it because the whole point we were selling the property was so that we could build um, onto our barn or fix up our barn. Yes. So um, that was going to mean no money for the barn and $20,000 debt. Two days after the phone call, I received the bill in the mail, and uh, I saw the, the 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 bill. But I knew I knew it was going to be, you know, substantial, not quite that high, but anyways, it did. And there was a bit of fear, but then I just gave it to the Lord, and uh, and then within 30 seconds, I opened the next envelope. The next envelope was from a lawyer that said that we were going to receive an inheritance from a friend. And we, I was like, I went from being fearful to being over, filled with joy. The Lord had just uh, provided us with the means to be able to pay this mm -hmm. and then some. It's just, um, it's just a, a reminder. We're constantly, uh, every Sunday, we're, uh, we're, we're reading that What's declaration that declaration that the at the beginning of service that God would provide us with not just our our spiritual needs but our financial needs our health and it's just an indication of how great he is and how he is so possible he's the God of possibilities not the impossible so we're so grateful